When it's a brand new business, everyone is new. So no one has that culture already built. So it's important that when we bring new members in, we are showing them exactly what we want, what we expect, and what a win looks like. All right, so despite all the challenges, all the uphill battles, we are officially open. We opened yesterday for day one, today is day two. And as promised in the previous video, you're gonna see footage of classes happening here at Kids That Win Mount Pleasant, happy kids included. All right, so now that we're officially open, there's a lot of things that have to happen in the beginning of opening a new Kids That Win location. So when you have an existing business and you bring new students or new members into that business, there's already a culture built and everyone tends to fall in line with that culture. And if they fit, they stay. And if they don't fit with that culture, they find another fit for themselves. However, when it's a brand new business, everyone is new. So no one has that culture already built. So it's important that when we bring new members in, we are showing them exactly what we want, what we expect, and what a win looks like. So not only do we have to make sure the students are happy and having fun here at our locations, it's very important that we're keeping in contact and communication with the parents because we wanna make sure they understand what to expect out of our program, what this is gonna look like. And when it comes down to it, our parents, the word of mouth, our members, they're our best source of marketing. They're our best source of future members. So when you think about social media marketing, Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, all of that stuff you can use, for us, that's just an arm of our marketing campaign. What we believe is that the better service we can provide for our current members, the more likely they are to rave about our services and tell their friends. But this location has been very successful. We opened with 70 members at this location. The capacity here is about 80 to 85 students. So we're almost at the finish line. So what it looks like to fill this location is again, staying in constant contact with our students, with our families, with local elementary schools and with our community. So we're making sure that we're going to community events. We're constantly providing touch points for parents and then we're gonna continue our social media marketing for brand awareness as well. All right, so I'm very thankful for this location. I'm very thankful for all of our locations because every time we do this, we learn a little bit more. We overcome some new challenges and struggles. Our team gets smarter and we get a lot tighter. So things that I've learned this time is it always costs more money than you think. Uh, it always takes a little bit more time than you think. Uh, and it's just more challenging than most people imagine, right? That's why entrepreneurship is not for everyone because some people, when they face these challenges, will decide to give up. But if you continue to push through, get on the other side of that wall, you're gonna be happy you did it.